What's up, guys? Um, I'm having a hard time with this optimized idle thing. Uh, the truck, I set it up, I turn it on, make sure it's in neutral, the brakes are applied, AC is all the way on. Um, I hit the cruise control button, I set the temperature back here, the AC is on, the fan and everything back here is on. Uh, but for some reason, the truck shuts off and about 30-40 minutes later it turns back on but with no AC controls no nothing blowing nothing it doesn't do anything so I have to I have, once I hit to turn off the cruise control right away that's when the AC comes on and I try the optimize idle again it does the same thing over and over again I don't know it's that it's not recognizing that I'm setting a temperature back here or what's going on um, it seems like it's staying in engine mode, which, if I'm correct, that's one of the features that it has. But I want it to be in, uh, in uh, interior comfort mode. If any of y'all know how to fix that issue, uh, let me know, please, because it's crazy. I'll show y'all in a video in a little bit once it uh, once it shuts off and uh, turns back on. So I'll get back with y'all in a few minutes. Before... Um the idle management was working fine. Now it's not. Um, it still hasn't. It hasn't come on yet. But I'll show y'all real quick. Um, you can see. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says 77 degrees um, right now. It's set at 65. All the vents and everything's open. Everything's on the on position with the AC on, and it doesn't stay on as soon as the truck is about to shut off it shuts off and it doesn't come on unless it needs to charge the battery i don't know if there's something that i'm not doing right um i like i said i i turn on the cruise control make sure it's a neutral the parking brake is on all that make sure all the vents are open and the ac is on and um that we have ac while the truck is on in the beginning after it turns on it never comes back on i mean the truck turns on but the vent the the blower for the ac just doesn't come on at all i don't know um i mean from what i read like i said it, it, i think it's a uh, it stays in a uh, engine mode um which there shouldn't be any reason i mean i turn on the thermostat like i said it should come on i don't know if it's locked or there's a password i have to put in but i'll figure it out if not i'll have to call them up and say hey you know this truck's not working right because i mean i can't sleep especially when it's starting to get hot some days it'll be i mean it'll be 79 78 outside but it gets hot in this truck i mean it'll be 70 78 outside and in here it'll be 85 89 you know and it's hard to sleep that way but i'll keep messing with it see what, what i come up with i'll let y'all know I'll shoot something. I think it's about to turn on, so might be a few more minutes, but what's up guys? Um I'm having a hard time with this optimized idle thing. Uh, the truck I set it up, I turn it on, make sure it's in neutral, the brakes are applied, AC is all the way on. Um I hit the cruise control button, I set the temperature back here, the AC is on, the fan and everything back here is on, uh, but for some reason, the truck shuts off, and about 30-40 minutes later, it turns back on, but with no AC controls, no nothing blowing, nothing, it doesn't do anything, so I have to, I have to once I hit, to turn off the cruise control right away that's when the ac comes on and i try the optimize idle again it does the same thing over and over again i don't know it's that it's not recognizing that i'm setting a temperature back here or what's going on um it seems like it's staying in engine mode which if i'm correct that's one of the features that it has but i want it to be in uh in uh interior comfort mode if any of y'all know how to fix that issue, uh, let me know, please, because it's 
crazy. I'll show you on a video in a little bit once it uh once it shuts off and uh, turns back on. So I'll get back with you on a few minutes. What's up, guys? So uh, I just got the loaded, but like 20 minutes ago, I had to move because my clock was running already. I have no 14 hour. I just have three hour drive time or 14 hour clock, and that's it. So it's about it's 166 miles, so about two and a half hour drive. That gives me about 30 minutes after I drop off uh, well, in total. But uh, he gave me a pre-assigned coming out of the same place at like, I think it's like 11 o'clock at night or something like that. So we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully, uh, that'll work out. Uh, I'll try and see if I can pick it up right right then and there. I'll just probably have to wait till 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning to pick it up. Uh, and then, uh, then we'll head out. But I'm going to, uh, excuse me if I pronounce this wrong, but it's uh, Terra Hot, Indiana. Uh, that's what we're dropping this one at. It's a split load, so we'll probably be uh, we're, we are the last leg, and then after that, we're picking up another load. I'm not sure if that load that we're picking up is another split load or if it's a direct ship. But uh, I'll let you know as soon as I get there. Um, I haven't really looked at the information for that load yet. So, but yeah, we're on our way, so uh, I'll give you a shot when I get there. So we just delivered to uh, to this place here uh, that we picked up at uh, Import. No, it wasn't Emporium. It was a... Uh, well, it was just that where I dropped my last split, they gave me another uh, split, but the Intel over here uh, to Terra Hot, Indiana. Um, so I got here just in time to deliver, but I didn't have any more hours, so I had to call in. I didn't get a chance to make a video while I was there because I was just in a rush to get everything done and. I still ended up having to call to, for uh, um, for an approval to come down here to this pilot. It was like like 20 minutes away. So, but uh, we're here. Uh, apparently, we got a load tomorrow morning. It's 111 miles away, and it's delivers in like 126 miles. So it's not it's not too far. It's not too bad. So I will give you all a shout in the morning, and. Uh, That'll probably be the last video of this clip um, to let y'all see how it's going. Good morning, good morning. So we just picked up at uh, at Ball, uh, Ball Bottling Plant. Uh, we are going to Joliet, Indiana. This is a load from yesterday I was telling you about. Uh, I didn't get a chance to show y'all on the, about the uh, the uh, optimized idle but I think I figured it out it was uh, the reason why it's not coming on is because it's the temperature outside is below uh, 65 degrees which makes no sense if you're doing an interior comfort it should go by what's on the interior of the cab not on the outside so hopefully when it warms up in the next couple of days I'll test it out and see what happens um, I did sleep all right yesterday after you know I opened up the windows a little bit after maybe 30 40 minutes it started getting cold and, stuff. and it's all right i can deal with that uh, but I, I think that's why it didn't work uh, so i got two hour drive like an hour and 50 minutes uh to go to get there uh, i was at this plant and, and i don't know about y'all but there's some people that shipping and receiving department man that need need an attitude check that was i was trying to give him the shipping number and he just blew off on me he said y'all should be y'all should be uh, thorough on y'all's information because y'all should have all this information before you walk in here and i was like oh, pardon me sir you know, this, this is the shipping number they gave me he's all like you've been here before and i was like uh no not Never. He's all like, uh, well, you can follow that guy right there. He's been here before, and he'll tell you where to go. He goes, like, 
was, it's on the first street. And I was like, okay. The guy told me as well, just go down the street and it's on the left hand side. The guy didn't tell me where to drop the trailer or anything or where to pick up, so I just dropped it wherever I could and picked up my trailer and took off. So it's their problem now if they, it's a trailer's not where it's supposed to be. So, uh, so yeah, uh, but yeah, I'll be there about an hour and 50 minutes. I'll, uh, I will uh, give you all a shot as soon as I get there, or right before I get there. What's up? We just picked up our load uh, right there in Joliet. Uh, going to Tom, Tom, Wisconsin. Uh, so Kellogg's. I think it's should be cereal. I'm not sure. Could be other stuff. But anyways, uh, yeah, we. I didn't. I didn't record when I went there because it was a Union Pacific uh, drop. ticket in and it scans it and it asks you, um, there's, I think it was just asking for your call tail verifying that your call tail, that's it. Um, which is, I don't know why they would do that if they're not gonna have any empties at the yard. But, um, but yeah, it was, it was a little tough. Um, getting out uh, and the reason why I say that is because they didn't have any empties so they wanted me to sit there and I was like I'm not gonna sit there there's a terminal for the company right down the street so I went to the terminal see if I could find an empty there and they're like oh you we don't have any empties there you can't pick one up you got to go about an hour away I said an hour away I'm not going an hour away to go pick up an empty so there I can see a whole bunch of trailers here they're like, okay, let me see what we can do. And probably like two hours later, it took them to get me an empty. He sends me the address, and it's like an hour and a half away. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to argue with them. So I started heading that way. When I was exiting the terminal, the guard asked me, What's, where's your trailer at? Because they assigned you a trailer. I said, what do you mean they assigned me a trailer? He said, yeah, they assigned you a, a trailer, an empty trailer here. Okay. I didn't know anything about it and so she gave me the trailer number and I called the guy and I said hey you know they already assigned me a trailer here we can just take this one so I don't have to go so he let me take it uh, when I was going to leave with the trailer remind you I spent two hours there the guard tells me that I have two safety issues that I gotta go take care of for a safety issue. I don't know if she said two or not, but so I'm like, okay, why didn't you tell me that earlier? I would've taken it during, during those two hours, I would've taken care of that issue. It's Saturday, but there's no safety officer there anyway, so I called them. They're like, oh, don't worry about it. That's not even due to June. That's a drug test and all that. I spent 40 minutes of available drive time to get to where I'm going. Now I'm gonna have to park somewhere. 
to I'm gonna have to park at a Love's um, on the way over there because they couldn't get their shit straight pretty much. They weren't organized enough to be able to have the empty ready or know where to get the empty and all the safety stuff. Like, well, I, I personally think if there's a safety issue or you got a safety uh, uh, van or something, you should should be sent to your phone directly saying, hey, you know, you got this, this, and this, please call them or something. Nobody ever said anything, so it's kind of like, so it made me lose, just that with the safety, it made me lose like 35 minutes from me going back up to park, to go back inside, to talk to somebody, and they tell me the safety's not there, they leave at 12, then go back to my truck, call, get them to, you know, let me through the game. So... And really that's, I mean, as far as I can drive right now, I'll be about 30 minutes, about 30 minutes away. So pretty much if I would have had to stop for that, I would have gotten to my destination and unloaded them. And, and if I would have had the trailer on time, I would have got there and unloaded and been ready for the next load for tomorrow. It might have even been able to, you know, hook up depending on how far it is, but hey, it is what it is. Um, but, uh... We will be getting to this loves here uh, probably in a little while, and I'll get back with y'all in a minute as soon as we get there. So, what's up, guys? So, uh, we just got here to the loves. See if we can find us a parking spot. Uh, spend the night here. I'll probably sleep a little bit longer. Um, Night since I can deliver this load anytime tomorrow. Um, I, you know, I'm gonna go to sleep probably in a little bit, but uh, probably get a good night, 10 hour rest, and then get back to it. Plus, it'll help me, you know, reset my time to be during the day. I mean, I don't, it's not that I don't like running at night, but um, I feel like during the during the day for me it's better. But if I had to take a little bit more traffic, I always end up running the back roads anyway, so it's not like I'm, I'm here at all. I'm getting stuck in traffic all the time, so. But, uh, oh, let's see. We have quite a bit of parking here. I hate parking so far away from the store. You gotta walk that whole distance. I think I'll just park over there. tonight since it is 58 degrees out here but just open the window and uh, hope it stays cool so I'll see y'all later 